Hey, yo, Vegeta, have you been able to get into a Breakers match? Uh, yeah, Kakarot. I've played, like, three. Okay, but, like, how many attempts did that take? I don't know, like, 37? Matt, what the hell kind of anniversary is this? How are you going to celebrate a game for having a whole year of bad matchmaking? Oh, uh, Kakarot, I think you just connected. No way, really? Oh, I hope I'm the Raider. <laughs> Swally has black hair! Alright, what is up? This is Slow Plays, and I am back at again with another Dragon Ball Z Universe 2 DLC Pack 17 speculation and predictions video. We gotta talk about Broly. More specifically, DB Super Broly or Rage Broly, whatever you want to call this man. The new Broly from the movie that we had in 2018. Now, I know people are going to be like, okay, you know what, Slow? We already got Broly. Why do we need another, right? Well, I mean, if you think about it, why did we need another Gogeta? It was hype. We like this character, okay? We also like Broly too. And I feel like when these first got released, okay, back in I guess it was 2018. It was very, very late December, or maybe it was like mid-December 2018. These guys dropped, okay? And it was more specifically this pack right here, Extra DLC Pack 4. We had SSB, Gogeta, and Full Power Broly, okay? Makes sense, right? You know, you have the two most powerful versions of these characters integrated into it. But I feel like they kind of fell short when it came to the moveset and skills, okay? I think they did a better job with Broly overall, okay? I feel like that there wasn't really too much more that they could do for it at that time. Um, they definitely were, I don't want to say rushed, because obviously there, there was prep time for it and everything. But I feel like they were just like, you know, lacking a lot of the cool stuff that they had in the movie, okay? Because I believe these released very, very close to when the movie dropped. And after we saw the movie, it didn't really reflect the same type of like moveset and everything obviously with Gogeta he was not very good in my opinion okay when he first released obviously we were hyped and we liked it and we tried him out but we noticed his god punisher was completely different <laughs> from what he did in the movie okay he just flails his arms throws a bunch of blue blasts and then one blue blast at the end one final one okay still pretty cool right and you know a little bit different and it was like, you know, fully animated and everything, but the movie was so much better, okay? He had, he like, you know, brings both his hands together, fires off a bunch of blasts, and then the rainbow sphere at the very end, which I was like, bro, why didn't we have that? And we're finally getting it, you know, whenever we actually get the Gogeta Festival thing or whatever. But for Broly, he had gigantic roar. He had the, you know, the Hulk throw thing, okay? Um, I think it was the gigantic rage where he charges up and, you know, rams into the opponent for the most part he had some good stuff okay like i said i liked broly a lot more but there's so much more in the movie that they could have integrated and that's why i'm gonna bring up the breakers yes breakers y'all's favorite game by the way let me know how matchmaking has been when i first did it first two days it has been awful I, i'm just taking a break from the game until they fix it or whatever i think on twitter they said that they fixed some stuff on it but um, that, that's besides the point. I digress. Let's talk about this new Broly that we got as a Raider. He's so cool. Okay. Um, they did a fantastic job with his moveset. He transforms. Okay. He goes from rage. He starts off at level two. So there ain't no level one at all. So no base form Broly, but we do at least have a black haired Broly. Okay. And all it is, is it's just a recolor palette swap with some slight muscle definition changes okay but the hair is exactly the same okay um i saw some people kind of complaining about that and i was like eh, i mean rage broly or ikari broly or wrathful broly whatever you want to call him his hair is pretty much super saiyan but black it, it pretty much is so i i don't i don't i'm not gonna really i i never had a complaint about that i'll just say that when he transforms to level three he goes super saiyan he has the cool animation the integrated frieza and stuff and obviously i don't think they would do any of that in Xenoverse, but you know, pushing full power Broly aside, because obviously we have that as a playable character, we don't need a full power Broly integrated into it. I would just like to have Rage Broly that can transform the Super Saiyan Broly, okay? And I'm gonna bring up a little, you know, a little thing that I made, obviously using the Breakers stuff, because like I said, the Breakers has pretty much everything that I want for a DB Super or a transforming Broly, right? 
So gigantic sphere, gigantic crusher, whatever you want to call that move, okay, where he, he goes back, he charges up a giant green sphere and just throws it and it blows up the planet. Okay, you could also call it Planet Crusher. That's a cool name too. There's so many different names of it. I think he has it in Dragon Ball Legends. I'm pretty sure he's had it in Dokkan. Xenoverse 2 lacks it. And it's funny because Xenoverse 2 has a lot of giant sphere moves, okay? And I know people might complain about that. Like, okay, how many of these are we gonna get or whatever? It's like, we have a million. Why not give us another one? But a cool like green version that maybe has some extra different things to it. They can make things different, especially now with how Xenoverse 2 has been improving a lot, okay? Animations, uh, you know, just effects and everything that they do, the little extra things that they're doing. I mean, you saw with Ultra Instinct, that Kak Awoken skill is very creative and different from the other Awoken skills, right? So they're slowly but surely getting better and better at making these, uh, you know, a lot more unique, okay? So another thing he has is called Aura Trap, which is pretty cool. Now, that would be a great skill because basically what it is, it was, it's a, in a sense, I think it's the God Bind type of thing that he did. Like it was like the reversal God Bind that he did to Goku because Goku tried to, you know, immobilize him and then Broly was able to do it to him. Okay, using whatever it is. I think it's, you know, the, the aura trap thing because it says it's a powerful skill capable of immobilizing the survivors. So I think that would be a really cool, unique uh, skill for Broly. So we have that, we have the Planet Crusher. Um, obviously, I think they would just get, end up giving him maybe gigantic roar. Or, hey, full power energy wave. Okay, for this character, they probably would. Okay, I had a f I would have a feeling that they would just give him full power energy wave. And I wouldn't complain as long as he has a good new ultimate, the Planet Crusher. They give him aura trap. So I would say two skills, two to three super skills, and one ultimate. I think that's fair. I, f I feel like these characters that are more of uh, bringing them back and like reworking them in you know different versions, uh, they would generally do around you know, three to four new skills for these characters, right? So, yeah, they could they could add other stuff too. Like, I, I'm just thinking of stuff at the top of my head, but I'm mainly using breakers as kind of the foundation of it just because everything is right there. All this stuff is made and it's in the Xenoverse style. It could be easily, easily ported over to Xenoverse 2. You guys probably saw in the intro uh, that specific Broly, that Fury Broly that I used was actually from the DK Big shout out to DK. He's the homie. He imported that fast as hell. And it, 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 it works great. He has the new stance and everything too. It's really cool. So another thing that I would like to have is for Broly to transform. More specifically, I don't know if they would do this, but it would be nice to give him the DBS Gogeta transformation. Now that one is different. It's more, it, it's more you know unique, which I love. Uh, that version of Super Saiyan, mid-combo, you can transform quickly without any camera zoom or animation. You can still do the camera zoom if you want to, but while you're doing the combos, you can quickly transform and it gives a little bit of stun on the opponent, which is quite nice. So, awaken to Super Saiyan and become even stronger, okay? He combines offense and defense in his super attack, blaster meteor, the chase down. Now, there's a cool skill that he has in the breakers, okay? So, I would like to have that one move where it's like, I don't, I don't know how to explain it. If, it's, if this one is called the Blaster Meteor, he goes like this, and it's a skill that he uses as the LF uh, Broly, the full power Broly in uh, Dragon Ball Legends, and he shoots a bunch of barrage of like key blasts or whatever, and it's just like, it, it kind of homes in. So I think that would be a cool skill. Okay, something a little bit different, a little bit unique. And I also would like to see maybe him have that... I don't know what what it's if that one's the blast. I don't know which one was the blaster meter, but he has this almost like a what is it shield barrier, whatever that one that GT Vegeta has, something similar to that where it's always active around him while he's dashing. Okay, he can move around with it, and maybe it does a similar thing of uh, instead of it maybe protecting you, or maybe it would protect you, and it would also have little blasts that would kind of home in on the opponent too. I don't know how that would work. I don't know. I'm just I'm just coming up with different, trying to make it more unique and different. So there are a lot of skills right here that this one character can have. You know what I mean? Like that's like that's like a whole new move set basically right there. Like a full skill set. We have four different supers. Give them one ultimate. They could give them two ultimates. I doubt it. They usually don't. So that would be a good character, man. In my opinion, I would love that. The integration of 
everything from the breakers. They have the animations and everything. They just gotta, you know, slightly polish it up. And that's why it, I, I feel very, very confident that we'll get him eventually. I'm not saying specifically in this next DLC pack, it would make sense, right? Because we literally just have this one right here, right? But we'll see. We'll definitely have to see. It, it's a hype character. People love Broly, and it's from this movie that sold extremely well and did extremely well. Why not finally give us the transforming Broly that we've wanted for years, okay? I feel like this is the character, my go-to character when it comes to what new characters do we absolutely need in Xenoverse 2? It's like, you gotta have balance, okay? You gotta balance this Broly with, you know, the Gogeta that we got. We have a base form Gogeta, and he just sitting by himself. He needs a buddy to play with, right? This is his buddy. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. This is a fun video. I wanted to just bring up uh, the idea and concept of a transforming DB Super Broly. I love the one that we have, which is the full power one, but the only two Broly's that we have in this game, they're they're very similar, okay? It's big boy green haired Broly, okay? Give us give us something a little bit different, okay? A transforming characters are also extremely high. People love that shit, right? Tell me in the comments. Y'all like y'all like transforming characters, right? I definitely do. Anytime we get them, I'm like, let's go. All right, like, subscribe, ring my notification bell, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. <laughs> this is Broly, and you are watching Slow Plays. Make sure to subscribe, or else I'll destroy your entire planet. <laughs>